My mother was a school teacher. My father was in the Air Force, but when he retired from the Air Force, then he got a teaching degree and started teaching school. So both of our parents were teaching school. That meant they had summers off. And we took some wonderful family vacations. One of the places we went that completely captured my imagination at 11 or 12 years old was Mesa Verde. And just a, an amazing thing to me to see these, these stone houses tucked up in little holes in the cliffs that had been there for a thousand years. You know. And my mother took a picture of me standing in Balcony House listening to the ranger who was in uniform standing up on the ladder giving a talk. And about maybe 10 years after that, my mother took another picture in the same place, except I was the ranger standing up in uniform on the ladder giving a talk, and some other little boy was the one going. <sighs> and she wrote across the bottom, as the twig is bent, so the tree is inclined. <laughs> I wound up working in national parks and the Bureau of Land Management, basically resource protection for the better part of 30 years. And it took a long time for those childhood experiences and those adult experiences to gel into a song. But uh, here's these houses. houses are not empty, these houses are not still, their yawning doorways tempt me to enter when I will, spirits still abide inside, each dwelling has its fill, these houses are not empty, these houses are not still. On our 18th day, we traveled from Santa Fe, with short stops at Los Alamos with its unique history, and an ancient caldera. Rock and root and run, still I see there... Our drive through northern New Mexico, including an adventurous segment of an unpaved forest service road, led to our destination of Mesa Verde. From 14 previous trips to the Southwest, I've had an opportunity to explore several ruins scattered throughout the Colorado Plateau. Before the man from Portugal discovered this new world, these houses were already old, centuries endured. Their children spread throughout the West, every canyon filled. These houses are not empty, these houses are not still. In 1889, while searching for stray cattle, the five Wetherill brothers discovered the most famous of all the ancient Puebloan ruins at Mesa Verde. In 1906, to protect the area from looters, President Roosevelt signed the law to create Mesa Verde National Park. Though we've long ago learned how and proven that we can, should we dig their secrets up and use them as we will? These houses are not empty, these houses are not still. To visit Balcony House, we had to acquire inexpensive tickets at the museum for what was supposed to be a one-hour ranger-led hike. After receiving a safety talk, we descended a trail over the cliff, then up a tall ladder, and squirmed through a couple of small openings to the amazing ruins. When at last my time has passed, I'm more Once on the main landing, we saw the structure that gave the ruins its name. These houses are not still, spirits still abide inside. 
our ranger warned us beforehand that he might take a little longer than a typical hour. It turns out that David Frank was the head ranger at the park, so he wasn't hesitant to answer our questions and take the time that he felt was needed. This dedicated father was great with the kids and with his quick sense of humor made our day a delightful adventure. At the end of two hours, we climbed another ladder to get back to the trailhead and the comfort of our automobile. Ranger Frank recommended we make a short visit to the Farview sites on top of the Mesa. There we saw an ancient farming community and its award-winning reservoir. We finished this fine day back at the Farview Lodge and dinner at the Matate Room. 